Hey, what's up, guys? World Expo back here, and today, once again, we're on that Odd Warrior. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. Let's just jump right into the first game. Okay, so Priest is most likely Highlander. This is a very long game, traditionally, um, where it comes down to probably if he RNGs my Elysiana or not. Um... The current list I'm running is much better against it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just because, like, the Cold Light Oracles are really good since they typically keep a lot of cards in hand. And Elysiana helps a lot in the heavy control games. Where their combo win con is based off damage. Uh, you're normally fine with that due to... That's actually kind of good. They don't really have cards to take things from your hand. And since I cut Elysiana, it's pretty... Er, fuck. Arch... Thief. I forgot her name. But yeah, since I, due to cutting her, I can, this is like a really, really good draw. That's also a really good draw. So yeah, due to their combo, like them drawing a lot of cards and their combo being damage based, um, my hero power trip counters their combo. They can only do a set amount of damage, right, with their combo. And my hero power straight up says, nah, fuck you. So that's like really, really clean. The deck also has very few uh, low health minions, so Sword and Board there is perfectly fine. Um, it basically saves me one health a turn, which is surprisingly more important than you one might initially think. Okay, here cards we would be looking for is cards like Elise to add a card to our deck really, really early. Um, typically, you want to do it before they can do some of their other bigger plays, such as... Like, you want to... Sorry, you want to play after they play something like, um, what's his face? Draconid Operative. Um, that's just because you don't want him to just take Ungoro Pack. It's a very, 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 very powerful card. Especially in a control matchup where he needs more cards to deal more damage, right? With his, the Anduin Hero Power that costs zero. Um, it's very, very important. So, yeah. That's fine. Uh, Hero Power here is just perfectly fine. Actually, I can't even do the play I wanted to do. Oh, I mean, I could. I can do this. This is fine. He's gonna hit here. He probably can't wipe this. And this is also really good, but this can pull Raza, which reduces the amount of damage he can do overall by a significant portion. Well, not overall, but the amount of time, right? If he can play four cards in a turn and use his hero power five times, right, due to it costing zero, like if this pulls Raza, say. Um, that increases my odds, right? If now he can only play two cards a turn, it's going to take two times as long, kind of. So, yeah, that's very, very, very big. That's fine. I have Shield Slam. This is why I kept Shield Slam. Him not attacking there is really, really good for me. Alright. This is a super aggro play. What I like about the super more tempo based play is that well first of all you have to kill emperor thorson more than one take of that you probably lose the game and my guess is he played it if he already has a combo piece in hand oh my fucking god this is the one guy in wild that's actually playing lady as well it's the one guy in wild that's actually playing that i can't believe it i've never seen lady lazul in that deck ever but i guess if you're expecting to play against Control Warrior, it makes sense. That's a really good summon. Uh, here, Brawl is, like, pretty pretty fine. There's a high odds that something small survives. Which is why it's pretty nice. That's fine. I can't believe he's actually playing Lady Lizzle. That makes me think Reno's probably in his deck. That's fine. That's something that could either die to this or to this, which is why it's really fine. Um, I'm kind of hoping he got Brawl or he got Cold Light Oracle, I guess, or Shield Block. Okay, my guess is if he's waiting this long to play it, this is 100% Lady Lizzle. That was a mistake. I mean, now I can't kill this, but... Look, I can't kill it with just Iliax, but that's fine. I can drop this, and then, uh, shield block first. I might find an answer that I'd want to use, and that's not it. It's not it, fam. 
Um, I can also just hero power here. He's not pushing that much damage with this. That was also a really, really weak potion. So, this has to be a Lysiana, so... Or else he most likely loses this game. I have so much health right now that it's going to be very hard for him to come back. If that's not Elysiana. Obviously the best draw now is Boom. And it's not even close. That's really fine. Real. I feel like that's wrong. Although this, like, shield slamming this... A shield slam this or a shield slam this is better. Depending how many cards he draws off this, I can play Cold Light Oracle and build, burn some cards. Okay, I can Cold Light Oracle him right now to burn a card to burn two cards. I'm really fine with that. Blood Mage is a terrible burn. Mind Blast is a very solid burn. That reduces the amount of damage he can do late game by five. Shadow Visions probably gets a board wipe. Uh, Light Bomb or something. Is he really drawing more cards? If he hero powers here, that's objectively a wrong play. Nine cards in hand. Can I draw Bran? Bran would be, f be by far the best draw in my deck. Alright, so we go with this again. Yeah, run it back. Burn him two more cards. Oh, actually, Bran crumbles. That's such a good burn. Um, I am going to take care of this, though. This seems excessive, but keeping this 3-1 alive is actually kind of important. It's pushing 3 damage a turn, which is significant. That Holy Snova, like, so far, our burns have been really, really good. And I think he's been power drawing because he has Madame Lazul in hand. That's fine. This combo is also with Bran, which is another reason why this card I think is really solid. Uh, Boom here is solid. Like, really, really solid. Statistically, my hero power off this, I think, is better. I have higher odds of it being better. Uh, that's slightly better. Um, he has, has a set amount of health. Right? His deck doesn't play that much healing. So, especially after playing Zephyrus. And no longer having Reno. His deck can only do a set amount of things. That was not a card I was expecting to see, believe it or not. This is like, counters it, so that's fine. If I draw Bran right now, it's a little OP. Bran, Ravaging Ghoul are all really good. That's a terrible draw. Alright, so I guess this is the play. Um, 3 to 9. I can't really play this. This card is really, really bad in this matchup. Yeah, I don't, don't really want to waste that. I can also just hold off. I'm in no rush to try and burn him out. That's insane. Oh, that's fine. Taking 2 here is not the end of the world. I'm at 60 health compared to his 25. I really want him just to play... So, my guess is... His Madame Lazul card has to be... Um... Elysiana. 100% or else any other card I think he would have played except for maybe Zilliax. And even then, I think Zilliax was probably the better play over Anduin on that turn. So, yeah. That's necessary. Okay. His Emperor was, like, kind of weak. This just, I just picked the biggest minion off this. The biggest minion is really fucking good. Uh, I think, I want to say throwing this away is fine. Actually, yeah, throwing this away is fine. I feel like just holding on to this is so much better. And to stop the bleeding a little bit, that's fine. Alright. So next turn, his plays Elysiana, which is another reason I wanted to keep this. Um, also, he's going to play Raza as soon as he draws it. He has to play Raza before he plays Elysiana, actually. Because or else he has to win an additional five turns to play Raza, on average. Because Elysiana puts two copies of each card into your deck, so yeah. 
I'm out of single target removal though, which is a little bit scary. Okay, so he doesn't have Raza. I can draw Baku here, most likely. Yeah. It's gonna force an answer. If I had if I had a big piece of removal, I might have actually used it on here. Because this is most likely Raza. So now he has to play Raza. So it's gonna be hero power, Raza, hero power. Possibly something else. If he just drops the Elysiana here, we're in a really, really clean spot with Omega Devastator. Raza. There you go. The Kaba. Death. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bladestorm is a fine draw. That's actually a surprisingly weak draw. Playing this, he can't theoretically answer it. Um, right? If he goes Elysiana. Or hero power, Elysiana, hero power. He can't answer this, and I could Zilliax it and punch it. I can actually just punch him in the face. That's a lot of damage. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, so now he's going to drop the Elysiana, because they always iron G. It was a brawl. He did not pick Elysiana. Okay, so I win this game, that means. He didn't kill my 1-1. One -one. That's a fishy play, buddy. Very, very, very fishy play. Um, I can Bulwark here. It's going to prevent 8 damage, most likely. If I draw 3, that's fine. Drawing 3 here is fine for me. It's probably going to be most likely 2. That's an insane draw. My guess is it's 2. Or none, if he just goes face. He has no more Highlander cards, so that's fine. Psychic Scream. Okay, that's even more fine. Again, he's going to run out of damage before I die. Most likely. That's 8 damage. This is 8, so that's fine. I actually can't even play this, surprisingly. Uh, the reason I can't drop this is because it's my best activator for this. Oh, do I want a Zilliax here? Yeah, probably not. I'm going to hold off. That's an insane hero power. So, the reason why I pick this guy over the 4-5 is because I doubt he has any more big threats left. And if he does, I have either a combination of th like uh, this and this, or I have this, or I have Brawl. So, I'm not really worried about whatever the fuck he does. He should be more worried about what the fuck I do. And, yeah. Brand would be a fine draw whenever the fuck he wants to show up. That's a that's an okay draw. I think I just dropped this. I have a threat. He's taking five this turn. Or four this turn. So this sets up lethal. I think I just want to put enough... Always put something down on the board to just set up lethal. Okay. I have lethal now either way. Yeah, that, that, that was a really solid game, I actually think, against uh, Combo Priest. Um, I think we played it really, really well. I don't think he can do anywhere close to this amount of damage. Yeah, I don't think there's enough. It's a very interesting list. Is that eight? Dot cards... No, the max you can do is 16, even if that's another zero mana card. That is a lot of burst. And my 7 health didn't even matter, so... Huh. Um, I think he was actually too happy with the Emperor when he played it. Hey, we hit Diamond. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Emperor Thorasan, I think, is where he probably lost the game. Because if he could have got more discounts, I think he could have actually killed me at the end there. But instead he just played it on 6. With a powered shield, which I think is wrong. Uh, to be fair, it helps that I, like, burnt Mind Blast. It helps that I burnt uh, Reno. But that all happened afterwards. I still think overall, even if he did that right, and he didn't kill me there, I had more than he had left. Especially the lackey he got was, like, one of the shittier ones. I had so much more damage than he had. And eventually, with 
Ziliax, I would have just out healed him. So that that's that was fine. Anyways, after that really, really good win, I'm gonna update the win rate. I'm gonna see you guys in the next game. Oh, it's a mage. So Mage again, we have to assume it's secret mage. Uh there's a possibility that it's aggro mage, but we don't hold our breath to that. So we keep removal. Uh, arguably, you could have actually kept Cold Light Oracle there. Uh, it's really good if they play Aluneth early. Like, if they play on turn 5, now that he has the coin. It was probably active to burn 1 or 2 cards on turn 7 or 8, if he plays it on 5. But there's also no guarantee that he actually plays Aluneth. And if it's Control Mage, uh, you'd much rather have the Cold Light Oracle. Because you just burn 2 cards, which is a little insane. Burning cards... I know it sounds like normal, like, oh, it's a super, super good mechanic, or, oh, it's super, super powerful. But it's one of those things that I think a lot of players underestimate. The power of Cold Light Oracle alone was enough to get it banned in standard, right? You have to keep that in mind. This card, this two, this three mana 2-2, two, two, was considered to be on the same power level as cards like Ice Block, Ragnaros, Sylvanas, Baku, Gen... Right, you have to you have to just like you have to keep that in mind when you're playing this deck. That one card was estimated to be on the same power level. Because they, they all got banned, right? So apparently, yo, yo, I'm just so good at this game, boys. You don't even understand. Two star win bonus. Already diamond nine. Clean, easy game. Uh, I'll finish that thought about how OP Cold Light Oracles is in the next game. Ooh. I, I hate counting things like that, by the way. It's wins, but I have to. Um, in order to keep my stats accurate, I feel like I have to. Um, you have to mull for pirate. Uh, I think this is the correct mull for pirate. I don't like bulwark against pirate. Um, blocking four sources of damage is not nearly as good as just killing his things. Corlight Oracle is really good if we're playing against Dead Man's Hand. And if we're playing against Odd... Uh, we are favored, because typically our lists are very similar, but Elysiana and Elise are the game changers. They very much are. Um, so most lists don't actually play those, and I think they're core to winning the control matchup, right? I, I had a choice between playing those and playing other control cards, um, and I honestly think Elysiana is probably just the best control card that you can play in odd. Um... Of course, if you're not playing Odd, I mean, Dead Man's Hand is far better. And I think Dead Man's Hand Warrior is just overall a better deck. Um, I know it sounds crazy to say, but I think you just get slightly better matchups in the control uh, match. You have equally as shitty matchups in um, against combo. So control decks are never really meant to be combo. Combo decks are meant to be control decks. Um, aggro decks are meant to be... Oh, this is... This is Gal is this Galacron Deadman's Hand? Hello, my guy. Hi right there, buddy. If this is Warrior v Warrior, uh, for like, if he's playing Deadman's Hand, and I'm playing Odd. Um, this game goes quite literally until I die of fatigue. I feel no, no, he. Dead Man's Hand will beat Odd. Uh, almost 100% of the time. Unless I burn a Dead Man's Hand. Or I pull the Zoth out with Deathblood. See, that's the thing. I can interrupt him, and he really can't interrupt me. My game plan against Control or Slower Decks is to Hero Power every single turn. His game plan right now is to not let me burn combo pieces. Um... Yeah, because if I burn combo pieces, that's when I can win this. But it's the same thing with a lot of decks. A lot of decks, if or against a lot of combo decks, if you can just burn their combo pieces, you will win the game. Against Mage, if you burn the Giants, you win. Um, against Priest, if you burn, like, you know... If you burn Anduin, you win. If you burn Raza, you win. Um trying to think other combo decks mechathunes any version of mechathune if it's a druid if it's warlock if it's priest uh you burn mechathune you win you burn 
there are activators, right? You burn a Cataclysm against the Warlock version. You burn, like, a list of things. Um, you just win those matchups. So it, it's... It very, it very much comes down to the fact that I'm playing a lot of Disruption cards in here. By the way, that is correct. Uh, taking 4 damage a turn is very, very scary. But, right, I have cards like... Uh, the Death Lords, I have Cold Light Oracle, I have Bran, I have Elise. All these cards can theoretically inter... Well, Elise less so, but it's more like... If their combo forces you to mill... Elise is really good at giving you more cards to play with. Um, Elysiana could also theoretically be counted as a... Uh, combo uh, Ender, because it can get you things like Dirty Rat. So, it's... My deck is... I'm trying to tailor it more to dealing with combo decks, because the, the higher rank I climb, I find the more popular they are. So it's, it's the type of thing where I want to get most of them out of the way. Or I want to be able to deal with most of them. Death Lord, Death Lord. Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm 99% sure he drew Galakron. And he's looking for one more invoke. Uh, my guess is the Crier, the Town Crier. That's his name, right? Yeah, Town Crier drew Devoted Maniac. So he's going to play Devoted Maniac here into... Actually, no, he would have played Defunded Maniac last turn. Um, so that means it was probably Celiacs he got. So he needs to find one more activator out of the six left in deck? No. The five left in deck. Is it five? What's the other warrior one? I actually can't think of what the other... Oh, it's uh, Awaken. Um, so my, he actually only probably has four left in his deck. Typically decks only play one. So it was a Town Cry of the card he RNG'd. Alright, good to know. Uh, Zilliax here is fine. That's scary. Uh, Brawl would be a fantastic card. That's also fairly good. Hmm... Uh, I like developing this here. I think developing this is slightly better. Uh, we do have Bulwark to buy turns in between his uh, Galakron turns. So if he, I presume he's going to drop Galakron here. He's going to draw four things that cost. They have plus four, plus four. I'm so used to just saying drawing four things that, have, uh, that cost zero. But yeah. So my guess is one of these cards are probably Galakron. The, the zero to five is in his hand. I think it's actually put on the zero to fours. Or it was top deck this turn. That was the best top deck he could have done. How many cards are in his hand now? This actually might be able to burn a card, which would be insane. He has nine cards, so this can burn two actually. If he plays one, I can only burn one though, but hey, that's fine. That's fine. Burning one is good enough, I think. Brawl is very, very solid. I'm really low, and I have no idea how the fuck I... Oh, I took 5 this turn. That's how I got this low. Um, yeah. Let's just start start trying to build back up. That's a, such a good burn. Bran probably led to some retarded shit with his hero power, with uh, the other invoke cards, right? And by his hero power, I meant the other invoke cards. Um, or the Scion of Ruins. It was probably those retarded turns. Like, if he drew Scion of Ruins and then he played Brand Scion of Ruins, that's like fucking five seven sixes, which is a little retarded. Uh, he theoretically can't kill this unless he hero powers. Oh, he is running and awaken. Am I dead here? You can shut the fuck up. Um, those things have charge. Ah. I like how he drew both of those. Am I dead? Almost. Very close to it. He has one more big thing. Brawl here is fine. I could play uh, the Bulwark and Coin Hero Power, which would allow me to shield some to whatever survives next turn. Yeah. This allows me to do Shield Slam, Shield Slam next turn. Hero Power, Shield Slam, Shield Slam, Zilliax, depending on what he plays. 
which was really, really solid. His draw was insane this game. Fully invoked Galakron on 7 into top deck Galakron on 8 into... Also, my Death Lords kind of cucked me. Um, my Death Lords gave me really, really weak cards. Which is unfortunate, but hey. This return is nigh. That's annoying, but fine. Sword and board is pretty solid. Um, not really. I thought this had five health. Hmm. Yeah, I need to try to keep my bulwark around as much as possible. Uh, so that's fine. Um, my problem is I'm running out of cards to actually play. Plague of Wrath is kind of a bad draw. The Dynamatic is fairly good. He has one card that's buffed with Galakron left. Um, there's a couple of Awakened. He has one, two, probably two more Awakened cards left. Basically, if I can survive for a couple more turns... Uh, that's very unfortunate, actually. I thought he missed 5 damage, that would have been super good for me. Um, hmm. I need to draw Brawl. Bash. I know this gives him more cards that he can possibly kill me with. But it also could draw me really good cards. It didn't, but it had the possibility of doing so. So this wakes up next turn, which gains me three more life. So as long as I can survive here, that's four, eight, sixteen. I'm at five. So he needs both of the invoke cards that are left. Um, or another one of these. And an invoke card. Five is a little awkward for him, if I'm not mistaken. Awaken. That's fine. Oh, he had the wrench caliber. Okay. Um, that was a very, very unfortunate game. Uh, not only did he have exact lethal at the end, but, uh, he just got drew. Like, honestly, that was just one of the games where he got drew. There was nothing I could do about that. Um, I mean, if I would have drew Brawl at the end, I had a better chance, right? I would have saved an additional 4 life, but then, eventually I was going to draw the bombs. Um... I also couldn't even play the Dr. Boom. My draw was also pretty awful seeing Boom, both Acolyte of Pains, and Baku. I hate boiling it down to that, but I'm pretty sure that that's a big portion of it. Also, the Dynomatic. Um, not seeing any of those. But hey. Um, no point crying over spilt milk. We did really, really good today. Going 2-1. and one. Hitting Diamond. Um, actually, it's really 1-1. One one. That Priest game was a very, very good game to learn, like, to learn from, I find. Um, it kind of shows you how you really want to play, like, optimally the matchup in a game where he didn't have necessarily the greatest draw, and I didn't have also the greatest draw. Um, but it just kind of shows you how you want to best play the matchup. I find from the Control Warrior point of view. And, uh, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I will have to sadly call it an end. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to tell me below if you guys want to see um, a set review for the new set. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, peace.